the mind craves distraction and the ego seeks validation. I think this will never change. But what I've noticed is that when isolating myself and removing the usual sources of distraction and validation that I would have, although the necessity to seek distraction and validation from my ego and my mind do not change. The things that fill or fulfill those distractions and validations have changed. Now instead of social media as validation, my work is my validation. I sink myself into my work, into my life purpose. Instead of, again, social media or let's say a tasty snack as a distraction. Now my distraction is reading a book, maybe playing chess. So I've come to suspect that although the mind's need for distraction and the ego's need for validation may not change, it may be something inherent in their nature, that we can actually hack these subroutines by removing things from the pyramid of validation or the pyramid of distraction, leaving things lower on the pyramid that could actually be useful. It also makes me think that maybe distraction and intelligence are two sides of the same coin. Maybe the need for validation and the urge to work on one's life purpose two sides of the same coin. It kind of makes sense because the ego and the mind must have evolved at some point before society as we know it. And so therefore the ego's need for validation and the mind's need for distraction at some point must have been useful. However, now with the layers of society and social matrix, that we have as a species. These things can very easily and very often turn toxic. But I've learned that they don't need to be. The mind and the ego are not our enemies. 